Now we're going to look at multi-matching tasks. In this type of task, you will be asked to match a, a number of short texts or sections of one longer text to questions or statements. The strategy for doing this type of reading task is quite different. Read the instructions carefully. Note that there is one extra question that you do not need to use. Now read the questions and underline the keywords or the most important ones. Now read the first paragraph and think about which of the questions it answers. If you think you know, read both the question and the text again carefully to check. The focus of the paragraphs may be different, which can make finding the, the answer easier, but the paragraphs can also um, present similar ideas. So remember to read carefully. Don't be tempted to, de to decide on your answer just because the same word or expression is used in the question and in the text, or because the text mentions similar ideas to those in the question. When you have decided on your answer, Cross it out. So let's use the, the example zero and the first section of the text to practice. Read the questions and underline the important words. I've, I've already done that for the example zero. Um, the answer is paragraph J. Read it carefully. Note the use of the word introvert, which has a similar meaning to shy, and the idea that living alone might add to isolation. Underline the part of the text where you found it and write the number of the question next to it. Remember that when you find important information, uh, you think answers a question, you should read both the question and the text again carefully to check. Remember to read carefully. Different paragraphs might talk about similar ideas, so look out for the differences. Let's practice a bit more. Look at the second section of the text. Read it carefully. Think about which question it answers and underline the part of the text where you found the information and write the number of the question next to it. Remember that when you find information you think answers a question, you should read both the question and the text again carefully to check. One of the main ideas in text B is, if nobody is around to provide me with a routine, it is a constant struggle to stop my sleeping cycle becoming chaotic. Which of the questions mentions a similar idea? Look out for words or expressions with a similar meaning or words and expressions with, with the opposite meaning. Look at question 14. Sharing helps to keep your life in order. Now look at question 10. The idea here is similar, but be careful. This refers to when you live alone. Different questions and different paragraphs might talk about similar ideas. So, as I said before, read carefully and look out for the differences. So the answer to question 14 is paragraph B. Let's look at the strategies for doing this type of task again. Read the instructions carefully. Read the questions to get the focus of each one and underline the important words. Read the first paragraph. Does it answer any of the questions? Underline the part that you think answers a question and write the number of the question next to it. 
read the question again and compare it with the information you found to make sure it answers the question. Don't decide on an answer just because the same word is used in the question and in the paragraph. Thank you.